How can a tree that looks as old as time be so divisive? A Marmite tree, if ever there was one, people either love it or hate it. Pseudopanax crassifolia, the lancewood. Hailing from New Zealand, where it grows commonly in scrubland and known to science since 1769, this weirdly wonderful looking tree is now gaining traction as a garden plant. Where climate allows, for this plant likes it not too hot and not too cold, this rock star tree stands out from the crowd and can transform a skyline. I bought this book actually for research for the college project and it is Jimmy Blake's book, A Beautiful Obsession, co-written with Noel Kingsbury and I loved the book and in particular I became absolutely besotted with one particular image and this I came to love this tree so much that I made it the lead actor in the project that I did for the college and what a cool looking tree it can't really be described as beautiful but it's really really striking, fully atmospheric, actually a little bit sinister and a little bit dark, foreboding. That's what I liked about it. Now you will probably notice that I've adopted the tree as my logo for this YouTube channel. I essentially decided to go on a pilgrimage to see these trees up at Jimmy Blake's garden in County Wicklow in Ireland. So off I went, off I went to the garden. Sonia here at Plant Your Picture. We are at Huntingbrook Gardens. It's Jimmy Blake's garden. I've traveled quite a long way to get here. And Jimmy has quite a lot of different Pseudopanax plants here. There are seven species in the genus in total and quite a few popular cultivars now too, such as Moa's Toes, Chainsaw and Trifoliatum. Jimmy's got all of these too and more. His garden's actually a triumph and you can see more in my forthcoming video on it. But for now, the Holy Grail. Obviously nobody really knows for sure, but the theory is that the Pseudopanax crassifolia mimics being a dead tree until it gets to a certain height. So the leaves point downward for the first stage of its life while it's a juvenile tree. And people think that that's so that it could evade being eaten by New Zealand native bird, the moa, which is now an extinct bird, sadly. Beyond a certain age, the tree completely changes in appearance because the leaves stop pointing downward and they start to point upwards and this is the form that really took my fancy when I saw the image in the book. This tree has been known to the Western world since Captain Cook's first voyage 1769-1770 and it was originally named as two separate species because they, they didn't realise it was one and the same in different stages of its life. But as it happens, I love both. I love both of the leaf directions, both of the stages, and I think that you can get a very different effect with each. This plant has an unusual ability to survive in pots for a long time, and that is thought to be because they can be found in New Zealand as perching plants which means that they are plants that can grow in larger trees and they just survive from what they can gather from the mother tree, so like the nutrients and the air, the moisture, and that is thought to be why they will manage in pots for such a long time. So these trees are evergreen trees. They grow up to about 15 meters high in their adult form. They normally take about 10 years to change from their juvenile form to their adult form. They are hardy to about minus five, minus 10, and they need a fairly sheltered position, not, nothing too exposed. They're suitable for full sun and also for partial shade. Their leaves are really quite leathery, not to everyone's taste, for sure, for sure, like not everybody likes them. But if you have a penchant for like the prehistoric or the unusual looking, certainly dramatic, bear in mind that once they're an adult form, they're kind of like a lollipop on thin stems so you can underplant underneath. And um, you can't really beat it for like skyline interest. To me, it's a complete and utter rock star tree. If you'd like to see some more experimental garden design via plants, then you can check out this video here, this video here, and look forward to seeing you in the next video. The end.